Hello, my name is Amrita Krishnan. I'm the director of the Judy and Bernard Briskin Center for Myeloma at the City of Hope Cancer Center in Tuarte, California. I will be presenting some data on the drug teclistamab, which is a, a, an agent known as a bispecific antibody, meaning it has two targets. One target is against BCMA, which is a uh, highly expressed uh, protein on the surface of multiple myeloma cells. And it also attaches to CD3, a receptor on T cells and augments killing of multiple myeloma cells. We know that BCMA is a very good target for myeloma because it, it's high expression on myeloma cells. Also because we've seen BCMA-targeted therapy showing high response rates, such as BCMA-directed CAR T cells and BCMA-directed antibody drug conjugates. The study that I am presenting at this meeting is a phase one study, meaning that it was looking at dose finding, also safety, side effects, and efficacy of the drug. To be eligible for this study, patients needed to have relapsed refractory myeloma and be either refractory or intolerant to the established current myeloma therapies. Patients could not have had other BCMA type of treatments previously. In this study, we gradually increased the dose and arrived at what we called a recommended phase two dose. So a dose that we would will be testing in a larger group of patients, um, which is ongoing. In regards to the dosing and schema uh, um, of the study design, the trial used something known as a step-up dosing, meaning two small initial doses spaced a few days apart as a way of avoiding getting a severe side effect known as cytokine release syndrome. Cytokine release syndrome is, is a function of the immune system being activated and is very common with this class of drugs. So this, we used two step-up doses before patients got the first full dose of drug. In regards to the patients who were enrolled in this trial, you can see that patients had quite a number of previous treatments on a median of five prior lines of therapy, with some patients receiving up to 14 lines of previous therapy. And most of the patients that had a prior anti-CD38 antibody and um, all the patients that had different uh, proteasome inhibitors and immunomodulatory agents. In regards to the age of the patients, the median age was 62 in the cohort that I'm presenting, but we did treat older patients up to the age of 84. In terms of safety of the drug that we, we show here, you can see that patients did develop some low blood counts and that's not surprising given that patients had had a lot of previous therapies. So they had limited in terms of their bone marrow reserve. And also the majority of patients did develop this cytokine release syndrome, though most of it was quite mild. We also saw infections in about 50% of the patients. And again, this is not uncommon in people with myeloma and especially people with more advanced relapse myeloma. In terms of the cytokine release, it tended to occur two days after the dose and last about two days as well. Um, most patients had fairly mild cytokine release and got the standard drugs that we use to treat this uh, syndrome. What was most exciting and, and encouraging was the response rate that we saw in these patients who had had multiple previous lines of therapy. We saw a response rate of 65%. And also we saw that patients had deep responses. 58% of the patients getting a very good partial response. So a 90% drop or better in their myeloma protein. We also saw that there were patients who in fact became MRD negative. Um, 
again, also speaking to that patients can respond and patients can get deep responses. We also show a slide showing the duration of responses. And this is a little bit more challenging because the study is still fairly early on. We've had a follow-up, a median follow-up of seven months. So we obviously want to continue to follow the patients even longer, but with the follow-up that we do have, we see that patients do get deep responses and even more gratifying, the responses seem to improve over time. We also looked at some what we call correlative studies in regards to seeing how well does the drug work. And we see that the drug did induce activation of T cells, which was part of the goal of this drug at, at um, this dose, the recommended phase two dose. And we saw a good pharmacokinetics, i.e. blood levels of this drug that we were able to maintain the exposure doses that we needed to keep um, active levels of the drug in the blood system. So in conclusion, we, we show in this study that teclistamab was well tolerated. The, the re side effects were those that were expected with this class of drug, namely cytokine release, also expected side effects in patients with advanced myeloma, so low blood counts and some uh, infectious complications. We saw a high response rate, 65%, and we saw deep responses, 58% of patients getting a very good partial response or better. And we saw that responses were durable and deepened over time. We are now studying this drug in a larger number of patients at this recommended phase two dose. And we look forward to seeing uh, if these very encouraging results continue to be reported. And lastly, I'd like to acknowledge all my co-investigators, the patients who participated in this study and their caregivers and all the study staff involved at the study sites and those involved in the data collection and analysis.